Hi guys and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages here. Um, we are going to take a look at the messages here coming from your Divine Masculine here or concerning your Divine Masculine. As always guys, these messages are general so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section below. Okay, so we'll give the cards a shuffle to see a shuffle here and see what messages are coming in for you from your DM. Queen of Swords here, the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, and the Four of Swords. Okay. For a lot of you with the Queen of Swords energy, what I'm seeing for you is a conversation here that's going to happen. Um, it's a conversation or it's communication that you actually did not expect. Um, the Queen of Swords here, now because she governs mental energy here, I feel like the um, the cards here are hinting at perhaps you and your DM here need to form more of a stronger mental connection, okay? So what this means is for some of you, this tells me that maybe you're not in communication with each other, okay? Or maybe your DM here, um, the two of you aren't, you might be communicating, but I don't feel like you're probably communicating any issues or any emotions or any concerns here. Because notice how the Ace of Cups, the Chalice here, notice how it overflows. Um, some of you, I feel like I see either you're the one, okay, the, the Divine Feminine here, the DF is going to reach out to the Divine Masculine here, and I'm seeing that you're actually going to get a response, whereas from some of, for some of you, maybe your DM here has been a little bit more withdrawn or emotionally reserved, you'll find that in, um, in a turn of events, in a, un, a rather unexpected um, way, you'll find that your DM here is going to open up. So a conversation that you did not expect to happen, a communication that you did not expect to arrive comes from your Divine Masculine here. And um, I feel like they're actually going to open up to you here, okay? They may open up and tell you what's really going on with them internally and how what's happening with them here is then um, unfortunately impacting your connection with them. Um, or you may find that you're the one that's actually reaching out to your um, DM here and because of the Queen of Swords energy, some of you I feel like may have reached breaking point. You may be at a stage in your life where all you want is the truth, the absolute truth, not a version of it, not a fabrication of it. You just want the truth of, you know, what's going on between the two of you, or you want the truth as to how your DM feels about you. So this is you. I feel like your, your, your energy feels like it's um, there's a lot of forwardness with your energy, especially with the Queen of Swords. It's like you're wanting... Um, complete honesty from your DM and I see them responding as in not only would they respond to your communication but I actually see them responding to that particular energy and responding in that same energy okay in that same vibration so you want the truth the truth is what they're going to give you um, and be careful be careful what you seek for um, what you wish for because you just might very well get it because I see as I've mentioned, um, rather unexpectedly, I feel like your DM, he might open up, go ahead and tell you something which might evoke a very strong emotional response in you or which might seem really unexpected. It may actually catch you off guard. He, they may actually open up and tell you how they feel about you or tell you what's really going on with them because let's face it, they've been in a funky energy um, state. They haven't been themselves lately. Something's going on and although you don't have all the facts, you do have your intuitive feelings about this. The chariot here tells me that it's like this communication here is going to propel things forward, okay? So it's going to sort of knock down some sort of barriers that you've had. For some of you, these barriers have been communication. The two of you haven't been talking. You haven't been communicating. Your DM here hasn't been reaching out. They haven't been communicating. They haven't been responsive, okay? So I'm seeing those barriers being knocked down. So I'm seeing that your Divine Masculine will text you or they will text you back, okay? And I'm also seeing that the two of you are actually... You're talking, not as in, you know, you're just like surface level communication, but I feel like you're actually going, you're um, diving deep into, um, into, you know, what what's really troubling this connection here. 
notice how you know the, the sphinxes here you've got the black and white the contradiction here one faces one way the other one another it's like this opposing force um, it's important for you to know that there is it's like your dm here is trying to fight for you okay and it's important for you to know that there is it could be like a connecting energy that opposes your connection with your DM, okay? And they're trying to fight off this energy or they're trying to fight off this person's opinion and not allow for their opinion to influence how they feel about you and to influence your their connection with you, okay? So it's important to know that they're sort of tired. They are trying to fight for you and they're trying to fight off this um, opposing heavy energy, okay? Um, but I see that there is exhaustion. There's exhaustion around that their energy here around your DM. It could also be your energy though. Maybe you're tired of constantly trying to communicate or trying to reach them. And I don't mean just like trying to send a message and get a response back, but I actually mean like connect with them on a level where you truly get an insight into how they feel about you or what's really going on with them. Like you're trying to reach them on a very deep emotional level. And I feel like some of you will succeed in that. Okay, you'll succeed in being able to connect with your DM um, quite emotionally because I, I see someone being very emotionally vulnerable here. So I don't know if it's you in response to what they say here or I don't know if it's them actually opening up to you here finally. They're coming out of hibernation mode, they're coming out of a hermit mode or they're coming out of this withdrawn energy. Your DM here, I'm also getting that in one way, and I feel like I've picked this up in another similar reading, in a Twin Flame reading, where I feel like your person here has been trying to keep their distance away from you, and it's been hurting them. It's actually been um, quite difficult for them to do that. But the message that I get around the energy is that your DM here has been wanting to, um, it's like they're trying to protect you from themselves. Okay, so maybe your DM here has hurt you in the past. Maybe, you know, they've made the fair share of mistakes they might have hurt you or they might have said something that um they regret here um and this is the energy or this is what it what your dm is trying to keep you from okay because they don't want to hurt you or they don't want to lash out at you like they did before they don't want to treat you like they did before so they're trying to wedge some distance between the two of you okay so at the end of the day you know the reason why they've been keeping the distance is because they're trying to keep you protected from themselves okay because they've hurt you in the past and they don't want to hurt you again your dm is a wounded energy okay your dm has issues of their own and they have a tendency to sometimes maybe um, inflict those issues upon you or upon their connection with you so they're a wounded kind of energy and they say hurt people hurt others the most okay but i feel like the takeaway from your message here is that there is going to be communication from your divine masculine or they will be texting you back here so if you're going to you know communicate make sure you sort of um channel that queen of swords energy especially for those of you that have been wanting some answers or some clarity around the connection because i'm seeing that they're in a better headspace here when they do finally communicate Okay guys, and these are your messages. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.